Up next, Overtime takes a look at all things sports, including the 2012 London Olympic Games. Ryan Fritzberg will go on location at Diablo Valley College to take a better look at the one and done rule and how it's attracting colleges nationwide. <laughs> The registration list for DVC's dental program might be full, and their admittance into the classes is dependent upon a lottery for the spot in this competitive field. Nick Kearney reports. Many California students are feeling economic hardships and experiencing financial stress at this time. If you are worried about securing a stable job after school, you might want to consider the dental hygienist program offered here at DVC. This program offers hands-on experience to students by giving them the skills and knowledge to move forward confidently in their careers. Elton Carter, a DBC professor, went into depth about the program. This is one of the few uh, programs that offers dental laboratory uh, technology in the whole of Northern California. At one time there were three other programs, but DBC is the only uh, program standing. And uh, in, in a, a addition to that, they, get, they receive excellent uh, training, and then we also try to place them in a, in a uh, commercial lab once they, once they graduate. Another professor speaks on the requirements on getting into the program. Well, um, the state chancellor has put us on a lottery system because we're a community college. Therefore, we've developed an orientation program, so anyone who is interested in um, attending the program, then they have to at register and attend this class and this year it's May 31st on a Thursday from 3 to 6 o'clock in the evening. Dental 120 isn't the actual program but it does give important information on how the program works. Dental students comment. I signed up for the orientation and I came it was a couple hours the teachers talked to us about what we were going to be doing and the steps getting into the program. Uh, it's a lot of paperwork but it's well worth it because the getting in is a lottery and you have to put your name in a box basically <laughs> and they just randomly pick whoever you are. Uh, 24 students were picked. I was the alternate number eight. So after the 24 students, I was number eight after that. And a week before school started, the uh, Miss Boyd called me, the department head of dental assisting and she asked if I would still be interested in being in the program and I basically freaked out and said yes of course. The dental program went from a two-year program to a one-year program allowing a good opportunity in a shorter amount of time. Can't go to work, uh, can't go to school for two years and feed their families and uh, the, uh, what's been happening over the last couple of years is that we are getting older students because uh, uh, based on the downsizing of the economy a lot of people are out of work, so when people are out of work, they, they, they come back to the community colleges to retool. Um, after researching, I did find out the pay um, was good, but I figured it was just sort of a career move for me. Um, I took little classes at DVC, and nothing was really jumping out to me until I researched dental, and um, figured I'd give it a try, and I absolutely love it. The DVC dental program also offers dental work for students and the public. Our patients that come here to our clinic are from the community or from Diablo Valley College and we see about 60 to 65 people a week. DVC students receive a benefit of a free initial evaluation for their treatment and we have highly reduced rates uh, for our clinical care. Our students are always looking for patients for x-ray, to take x-rays, and also we're always looking for patients for chrono polishing, polishing their teeth, and then we all, we are including um, sealant course. We have a two-week sealant course immediately after the spring semester. It's two weeks, and the students are always looking for patients for that. How would you feel about having students working inside your mouth? I'd be totally uncomfortable with that. I don't think I'd let students work inside my mouth. Um, I wouldn't mind if students worked in my mouth. I figure they have some instructor watching over them and at that point they're educated. A clean mouth is someone, we, we provide services to debride them, to free them of bacterial plaque and calculus. The hard deposits that are on the teeth that you know is tartar, it's calculus. 
So we debride the, the mouths, we provide preventative oral hygiene instructions and ongoing care. We also uh, provide periodontal education on bacterial for caries, for cavities, um, and we try to educate our clients as well as provide preventative services. Now I know where to get my teeth cleaned. I have an appointment in the next couple of minutes, so I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. This is Nicholas Kearney reporting live from the DVC Dental Department. Seems like our reporter Nick Kearney is convinced of these student skills. Are you going to make your appointment? The University of California is widely heralded as the best public higher education system in the country. There's been steady erosion in the state's funding for the UC system to the point where last year at the height of the budget cut, the state's contribution to UC was cut by $637 million. That meant staff layoffs, faculty furloughs, and canceled classes. Now many here in California are wondering whether the state's once peerless public university system can ever recover. Police in riot gear stood outside the station at San Francisco's Mission District after a group of approximately 50 protesters attacked the building the day before May Day. From there, protesters moved down Valencia Street, smashing windshields and windows of neighboring businesses. Jesse Smith, a protester with Occupy Oakland, was horrified to see that a peaceful pre-May Day celebration at Dolores Park led to a march down Mission District streets. More than a little shaken with the events, Smith did not know who was responsible and says that he knows members of the movement, but none of them knew who these protesters were. Smith and other activist groups planned various family-friendly events and demonstrations for May Day. I don't know how this is going to affect that, Smith said. This is really heartbreaking. Local Contra Costa County cities have become victim to multiple home robberies in the past month. A man was arrested in Pleasanton for breaking into a home, while in Fremont, two men are still wanted for an attempted home burglary. In more local news, three Bay Point teens were caught and arrested for at least two home break-ins and are currently booked in the Juvenile Hall in Martinez. Joining them are two teen boys who were arrested for multiple mass robberies, and there are three more suspects uh, suspected of them being involved. Make sure to lock your doors and have your local sheriff's department phone number on hand and stay safe. The Bay Bridge has a big birthday coming up soon as May 27th marks the 75th anniversary of the bridge being built. In celebration, artist Leo Villarreal wants to blanket the bridge in over 250,000 LED lights. The project is expected to take up to six months and has already gained the support of multiple groups. Local solar company ClearPath has volunteered to provide the electricity required, and the installation of the light is backed by local nonprofit art organizations. The project is well on its way of reaching the $50,000 funding goal, and if you wish to contribute, visit causes.com forward slash the bay lights. From a heartbreaking NFL defense story to a heartwarming one, all coming up next here on Overtime. We'll be right back with that and more after the break.